hands becoming edgy. Well, it's kind of a big play, so Pete Morelli ought to take a good long look. It's of moderate importance to both teams. And meanwhile, the fans and team and Coach Shanahan up in Denver await their opponent next week. If it is Pittsburgh, then Denver has the home field advantage, and they'll be playing in mile high. If, indeed, the Colts should rally, then Denver would come here next Sunday. You can't get west. much more of a definitive look than that. The ball firmly in his grasp. There's right the there, his left knee boots it out of his own arm. And on the field, it was called an interception. In the total alertness of Polamalu with that fumble, he made sure that no one was going to dive in and take it away from him. He used his body to protect against anyone charging after it. He is such an incredibly bright if uh, while, young guy. You know, if while rolling over, that ball would have been loose at all, automatically we would say, no, he right. didn't catch it. That's a good point. After reviewing the play, the defender caught the ball, lost it prior to getting his knee off the ground. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. Wow. Wow. Well, there's a guy who has the only opinion that matters. There's a guy who has the only opinion. So, so Pete Morelli telling us he's basing it on the fact that the right knee of Troy Polamalu is still on the ground when the ball comes out. Right there. Wow, that's 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 interesting, isn't it? Well, it's his opinion. And it, again, that's that's a, it's a surprise to me and I think to a lot of people, but hey. Hooks are resuscitated. Yeah. 